Now, NBC 26 meteorologist Brittany Merlot. Well, the weekend is upon us. Yesterday kind of looked like this as we got just under two inches of snowfall here into Green Bay and temperatures above average again into the upper 20s to low 30s. So we've only had two days this month that were below our average high. 25 degrees. So we have been absolutely 100% spoiled. In fact, this is the second warmest ever January ever on record here for us into Green Bay with 10 degrees above our average. So this morning, a little shot of cold at first will eventually be replaced by some nice warmth here for us, but it will be brief. So pay attention right now. Temperature is into the teens, but it does not feel like that. We've got winds gusty out of the south, gusting up to 20 miles per hour right now. That's making it feel like near zero. In fact, it feels four below into Oshkosh and then 11 above into mountains. So we are all over the place here this morning. Cloudy skies and snow pushing into Shawano Clintonville Mountain, even moving into Oshkosh, Appleton and along I-41 as well. It's been hitting western Wisconsin all morning long and finally starting to die out into Minneapolis. So this is what it's doing to our roads as this strikes creating them slick and slippery and hard to see as well because of these winds. It is blowing and drifting that snow around. This is a look here at Wausau this morning, not too long ago on I-39. The snow from yesterday and the snow from right now is going to be whipped around in up to 35 to 40 mile per hour winds by late morning and through our afternoon. It doesn't even start to die down until overnight. So we're already seeing that visibility drop into Shawano and to go Clintonville down to about two to three miles. This is pushing into the Fox Valley here over the next hour. So leave early, drive slow, do not overdrive, do not use cruise control. This will be continuing to hit us from now until about just an hour or so after lunch. So two or three, it should wind down, but it won't look like it wound down because the wind's still blowing and drifting that snowfall, making it hard to see, not to mention, a snowstorm to the south wants to lift north now and bring us some snow by tomorrow afternoon through tomorrow evening, mainly into our southern areas, but it does want to bring some light snow into Sturgeon Bay and Green Bay as well. We'll get a little break there and sunshine for our Sunday, but what a winter weekend ahead of us. A half an inch to an inch expected here today. Then tomorrow we could see anywhere from two to five inches down into our southern areas. More just a few inches here for us into Green Bay. This system is striking much further down to the south. As you can see where the heaviest snow will be, we shall see. This could lift up a little bit further to the north. So no matter where you're going this weekend, do one thing for me. Make sure you have an emergency kit in your car just in case you do slide around on slick and slippery roads. And then it's going to be so cold that if you're stranded, you're going to need a sleeping bag or blanket or something so that you stay OK. So sunrise right now, 716, first light of day out there. It is cloudy, it is snowy. Those highs are going to feel more like the teens today. These are going to feel more like below zero tomorrow morning. Winds start to ease up a little bit tomorrow. We'll start to feel like the single digits to teens with that second snow shot further south into the Fox Valley. Sunshine finally takes over on Sunday. We will see a little bit of light snow potentially on Monday morning. And then the sun controls as the cold spills in <laughs> the polar vortex. We tried to keep it away for quite some time and we're not winning. And go figure, Groundhog's Day is on Thursday. So I hope that little rodent has something better than I have to say. Yeah, hopefully, right? We were saying it's like right when there's sun, we have the extreme cold. <laughs> yep, can't win. Just can't. That's Wisconsin for you. Yep. All right, thanks, Brittany.